to the tin smithing video. As you can see, I'm working on a planner. You can work on a planner, you can work on a notebook, but you want to work on some kind of soft surface. Step one, watch this video, take notes, pay attention so you know what to do. Step two, I have a photograph for you. Step two, you see I have a symbol sheet up here. With that, you want to look at my symbol posters. You want to look at all the different kind of lines and shape designs that I have on my word wall or the art textbooks, or you can look in the art library. So you're going to do some research. You can even look on your electronic devices. Don't play on them. Look for research information. Sketch this in your sketchbook. Sketch different designs and symbols. If you do not have a sketchbook, then just sketch it on a piece of paper. No big deal. When you're done with that, then you're going to get a piece of notebook paper, and then you are going to take a ruler and make a five by five inch square. When you're done making the five by five inch square, you're gonna use a compass or trace a circle to make a huge circle in your five by five inch square. Then you're gonna fill that square with designs and symbols. So you're gonna take your designs and symbols from those notes and then you're going to make a design that makes sense that flows, that repeats some th sometimes, so this way you have a pattern and a rhythm, and you're gonna create your own mandala, okay? We'll also look at some artists for some inspiration. After that, take notes, right? So you know what to do. Look up your symbols, so you know what to do. Then I'm gonna give you a piece of copper. Actually, it's a piece of metal. It's a very thin metal, but it is thicker than foil. One side is a copper color, one side is a silver color. Pick the side that you like the most, that you think is the prettiest, and that's what you'll work on. Now, you can easily press on this and make lines, so you want to be delicate with it. This is not a cheap project, so I can't give you another one. You only have the one, so don't make any mistakes. Be delicate with your piece of metal. After that, you're going to cut your circle with your designs, your final design for your final pro for your pro project and you're going to tape it onto the piece of copper or the silver side the tin whichever side you choose and then what you're going to do is you're going to use a pen before you use the pencil for your designs now you're going to use a pen because i want to see where i did not trace everything you're gonna go back over and you're gonna trace everything in pen as you can see here. But right here, I didn't do this part, I forgot. So I need to go back and I need to trace it with my pen because I obviously forgot because it was in pencil. All right, press firmly. Do not jam or press too hard. You will rip a hole, and I'm not giving you another one. Don't abuse the materials. We don't have a lot. All right, and then so now you have your piece of uh, copper, or maybe you're using this side, your piece of tin, and you're going to begin some tin smithing. You're going to keep this right here because you're going to turn it in later. It's going to be part of your grade. You want to make sure that you push your name on it and put what period you have. Okay, depends on which class you have, the period will be different. You want to keep that because later on you're going to tape it. So this way I know it belongs to you and I can give you a grade instead of giving you a zero. Don't earn a zero. Put your name on the paper. Tape the paper at the end, very end of the project before you turn in. So now what you're going to do is hopefully you have a mechanical pencil. Make sure the lead is not ejected out of your mechanical pencil and you're gonna decide which areas you're gonna pop up and which areas you're gonna press down. So let's say, I'm gonna use right here, I'm gonna make this kind of like a sun. So I'm gonna flip it over, because I wanna use the copper side. And all I'm doing is I'm pressing down, gently, but firmly, and not for too long, and it's gonna pop it up. You're gonna actually have a hard time seeing it on the video, but you'll notice in person. Then you take your mechanical pencil, and since I popped one side up, I need to pop the other side down. So all I'm doing is pressing down into my little sheet of metal, my thin gauge metal. All metal is measured in gauges. 
And the bigger the number, the thicker it is. Oh, my bad. I got that backwards. The bigger the number, the higher the number, the thinner it is. So this is, I think, about a 32, 35 gauge metal. It means it's thin. 8 gauge is super thick. Now, I do have special tools that you can use, but you have to share them as a class. And you have to respect the tools. Put them back up where they belong. Don't just throw them in the corner. Don't throw them and leave them on the floor. Don't chunk them in the trash because you're too lazy to go put them up. These tools are not cheap. They are hard to replace. So, you need to put them back up where you got them from. Otherwise, we will not have fun projects like this and all we'll do is just draw all the time. I like to draw, but I like to do some other things too. Now, these tools have kind of different parts. Some are pointy, some are rounded, some are sloped. Some have edges, some have curved edges. We'll have to share the tools with everybody at your table. I do not have enough supplies for everybody to practice. So you have to take your time and really think about what you're going to use the tool for. As you can see, this really smooths out those areas. Flip that over, pop that back out just a little bit, and then I'm done with that part. Then you want to move on to the other part. So basically what you're doing is you're just finding out areas that you want to pop up. If you want to pop something up, work from behind your metal. If you want to press something down, work from the front of your metal, meaning the main side you're going to use, the main side. And you constantly go back and forth, so when you pop up on one side, you go and press down on the other. If you're waiting on a tool, then use another tool for another area till that tool becomes free. Let the person know, hey, I need to use that when you're done. You might even have to remind them a little bit. And then you're going to do this over your whole entire piece. When you're done, you're going to tape this with your name on it. Tape it to the back. So this way I know what size you want me to grade. Fill out your self-evaluation. Get a paper clip from me. Put it right on here. Turn it all in. We're going to have this project for about a week. Make sure that you turn it into the turn-in shelf. That's the one with the red number of your class period. Let's get to work.